My name is Dawn Okoro and I'm an artist and I'm getting ready for my first UK solo show. I paint portraits. I really like to use color and I want my portraits to be expressive. Mad Explosive Spontaneity is the name of the show and it's a lyric from the legendary Bahamadia. I love listening to her music while I work. I like to have people pose for the paintings, but since the pandemic started, I hadn't worked with anyone in person. But last year, I did start bringing in people to model in my studio again, so I was able to get some reference photos. When people come sit for me, I turn on some music and I have them move around. I'm hoping to really capture a moment. It took a few months to create the paintings and it definitely wasn't smooth sailing. There were several times where I had to stop working on the art because of things happening in life. But I was able to complete the work in time for it to get shipped over to London. This will be my first time in the UK. I've always wanted to see what London was like. When I first arrived, it was chilly, the sky was gray, and it was raining on and off. Magic's Gallery has set me up with an apartment that is walking distance from the gallery. They gifted me this Zanelli Moholy photo book and some champagne to celebrate. There was some English tea in the kitchen. I'm going to try that later. Maddox also gave me this guide listing restaurants in the area and things to do. I'm gonna find a coffee shop and then I'm gonna head over to the gallery. Maddox Gallery is an international group of galleries and they're based in London. I've been working with them for over a year but I've never met any of the people in person. Until now it's only been phone calls and Zoom meetings but now we're all finally getting to meet in person. How many times you said in a while? This gold leaf painting is called Vamps and Riffs. This painting that they're hanging up is called Fierce. It looks like the install is coming along nicely. In a couple days, I'm gonna come back and add some finishing touches. I wanted to do something a little bit extra for this trip. Since I'm all the way in Europe, I want to visit more than one country. France was a pretty practical destination time-wise, so I took the train to Paris. I wanted to go to Paris because it's known for its museums, food, and historical architecture. It's February and there aren't as many tourists here this time of year, so a lot of the museums and sites are closed down for renovations. I stayed in a small boutique hotel and it even had a little terrace. In the first half of the 20th century, Paris drew thousands of black American expats. So walking down the streets, I'm thinking of Josephine Baker, James Baldwin, Louis Armstrong. I spent a lot of time just walking around and taking it all in. According to my Apple Watch, I walked more than 10 miles in one day in Paris. I walked by the Louvre, the Eiffel Tower, um, the, the Love Lock Bridge and a lot of other historical yeah. places. I tried to take a picture with all these birds around the river. I wasn't in Paris for long so I didn't get to do a lot of exploring but I enjoyed people watching and just being in a place that's new to me. I especially enjoy looking at what people are wearing. 
I noticed a lot of women wearing black tights and some kind of boot. Now it's time to get back on the train and head back to London. There's still some prep work I need to do for my show. I'm going to put some gold leaf accents on the wall to expand on what I already did on canvas. Now that I'm in the space, I'm doing some improvising, figuring out what I'm going to do on the walls. Before I start the work, I have to imagine what motions I would be making. Metal leaf can be very messy to work with. And it can also be a very tedious process. It's starting to come together. I'm pretty happy with the result. Now we get to go back to the apartment and get some rest because I have a big day tomorrow. On the day of the show, I met with the full Maddox Gallery team, and then I did some interviews for radio, TV, and the web. I was expecting a small gathering, but the gallery was packed. I got to meet a lot of people from the London area and some people I had chatted with on social media, and now we're meeting face to face. Welcome to the Dramatic Explosive Spontaneity, Donna Cora's first UK show. Uh, I just want you to think of what you saw the first time you cast eyes on Dawn's work, because that's the kind of feeling that you get that makes you want to take it home and changes the way you think and feel about her work. It also opens up a dialogue uh, about a lot of different things, about the relationship of an artist to a sitter, uh, a painting to a public, and and also what you're doing with, with art in general. Now that was kind of a waffle, but it's a waffle we've had going all day. So I'm gonna hand it over to you and talk about what it feels like to have your first UK show. Well, thank, thank you for everyone for coming out and, and supporting. I'm just excited to be here. It's my, my first time in London. A little bit about this show. Um, so the title is yeah, just Mad, Mad Explosive Spontaneity. And uh, that those are lyrics to a song by a hip-hop hip -hop artist, um, Bahamadia. I like to listen to the 90s hip-hop a lot when I'm painting. It's either bad or a punk of some kind. And um, all the people that you see are, are real people. I'll just take liberties with the color and texture. And I just really want to show um, just people, people just be, being free, um, especially black people just being free, free in the in this space. Want to take any questions? Sure. Brenda, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Brenda Mammoth, come up. Come on. Come up here. We can't have a reporter here who doesn't ask a question. We seem to have, I guess, Renaissance is the wrong word, but where do you think we sit in terms of the, the appreciation of black art currently? We still, you know, have a, a really long way to go. Okay, go on. We didn't quite use that. So, Dawn, uh, thanks very much. I think the work is incredible. We should be phenomenally proud. It's, it's fantastic. I just wonder, look, there's um, a real theme with colour, as you mentioned, and particularly gold leaf. Um, is that a uh, playback to African heritage, or what's the reason behind that? Yeah, well, thinking about gold leaf, um, I started using that for, for many reasons. Um, one, one, one reason is um, there is an artist named Barkley Hendricks who's from Philadelphia, and I, I love his work. He does, he, well, he did portraits. He passed away a few years ago, but he has a, a painting that's called Lottie Mama, and it's a, a black woman with a, he, a big pro, and I think she was, she was a, a lawyer, too, um, and she was surround, surrounded by gold leaf, and I always had that piece in my mind also thought about how gold leaf dates back to ancient Egypt um, and it, it sort of was used to kind of portray value in a way. Uh, Dawn's going to be walking with everyone in the crowd, stop her, say hi, ask her about the work. Otherwise, thank you for coming and enjoy the show.
the day after the show, the gallery is hosting a luncheon in honor of International Women's Day. The gallery had a bakery make cookie replicas of my reminiscence painting. I thought they were really cute and I'm into the idea of food as art. Oh my God. Like One, two, three. <laughs> At the tables, there were little poppers and when you pull the string, candy pops out. All of the guests at the lunch are women who are art collectors. I was especially excited to meet Naomi Nicholas Williams, who is a model based in London. She actually got Instagram to change its censorship policies. I also got to meet the actress Natalie Emanuel. She is most known for her role in Game of Thrones, and I think it's cool that she came out to support my show. And my art is also in a movie that Natalie is starring in. Some of my paintings are in The Invitation, and that's actually in theaters now. I did a lot of walking in London. And I got to see some of the landmarks. I went to see Buckingham Palace, which was the residence of Queen Elizabeth. There were a lot of tourists around taking photos. There's a Big Bang clock. I saw a skate park and it made me wish I'd brought my skateboard. I'll have to do that next time. I'll be back in London again at some point and when I do, I would really like to explore more areas.